Welcome to Movie Reviews HQ. Today's review? No Time to Die. Current rating at Rotten Tomatoes? 87%. Max Coville says, Craig might be done with Bond, but No Time to Die reminds audiences why they fell for him in the first place. Stefan Kiriazis says, Along with a weak script and underwhelming directing from Kari Fukunaga, it simply sacrifices too much of the viscerally, thrillingly unapologetic anti-hero that has towered across six decades of cinema. Brian Viner says, This is a serious film, and it will leave you seriously blown away. A.A. Dowd says, No time to die is forgettable in all the places that usually count. It's a Bond movie with little excitement or panache. Stephanie Zacharek says, With his fifth movie as 007, Craig is so extraordinary he leaves only scorched earth behind. There will be other Bonds for those who want them. For everyone else, there's Craig. Adam Woodward says, The send-off Craig's Bond, probably, deserves. Owen Gleiberman says, No Time to Die is a terrific movie, and up to the minute, down to the wire James Bond thriller with a satisfying neoclassical edge. David Rooney says, Even if the two and three quarter hour running time is occasionally a slog, it ultimately delivers. Leah Greenblatt says, As Bond swan songs go, it's a fond farewell faithfully bridging the old world and the new until the last, deathless postscript. Bill Jebiri says, It's still the same tired nonsense, just longer, and all the added elements to give the story and the character's emotional heft mostly fail as a result. Please subscribe for more reviews.